Alrighty, so let's watch this. This is the revised version. Uh, since last time we talked, there was a lot of um, camera changes and just angles and kind of processing how to tell the story. I think this is definitely better. It makes more sense. I think it's on a shot by shot basis, more interesting to see. Um, like you are saying here in the email about the camera, totally send me your scenes. I will give you a little bit of camera pass so we can talk about that. I think in general, uh, now this is just in rough form, but as you continue, what I would do is we're a bit low in terms of framing. There's a lot of headroom here. It doesn't get really filled until here. So what I would do is once you start animating this with a bit more uh, purpose, I will probably keep this already in this area between here and here. So there's a lot of chewing already. Stuff can be flapping and it can be more things where maybe, um, you know, maybe potential some some claw uh, action to get this bit in place. I don't know how much you want to use the arms given that this is such a, sorry, not, I don't know how big the creature is. I'm curious how big you want this to be. If, you know, if there's a human next to so if the human is this big, I'm not quite sure. But the reason I'm saying this is because you would have more focus here and we get to see it more and there's uh, it's just better balance in the staging. So it's not so cut off here. But what I would do is after the initial thing that maybe starts like this, nom, 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 then as you go down, into this where it's a bit more cut off and relieving a lot of room here i would just have a little bit of movement as if there was a little bit of chewing not a lot of tearing and moving so that the audience almost loses focus and then whoop then you can introduce this character coming in because right now what's happening is that i'm looking kind of here and i'm wondering there's a lot of stuff open here i guess i'm looking here and then it's okay i'm looking at all that big head moves and all that and then i kind of miss this just the way it comes in it's like I'm following this character down and it's so slow. And once I might see it, we cut out already. So that's why I'm saying I would start with something that's a bit more like this. And then you go down and then hold this for maybe 10, 12 frames. And then you have, you know, as you start animating with steps left and right coming forward, it'd be a bigger visual pop for this to come in and then give this another second. So there's a bit more time to view this. Of course, again, this the length of all the added frames might be different depending on how you animate it and the speed and everything. Um, I would just keep that in mind. Then as this creature comes in, same thing, I would go a bit lower, uh, just tilt down overall. I, don't, I, won't, I wouldn't really put a camera move. I would just have just a static camera, but lower so that if that's you know the the half of your, of your composition, that it's not in here, that if you think kind of you know classically traditionally in your thirds yeah even though there are different compositions you can use you know find a way where we can potentially potentially zoom in so that the creature might end up here and, and starts here and ends up here but just the face is kind of at that height so you might have a creature you know that's maybe almost this big coming in this is the body and these are arms <laughs> i don't know if that makes any sense i just make it bigger now understand that you have this here but i would just have you know, you you cut on action here with whatever step you have here, cuts across here, big steps, and then we're closer. It's nice, you get some cool animation on the whatever that is, hair, couple ears, I don't know what that is, whatever you know, you know, fins, whatever I don't know, whatever you want to call this. Um, so big, big steps here, boom, boom, coming in. But then I would have a moment of pause, and then even if you just do a couple steps here, and then here's just that one last step, and then it rests. And then you can do maybe like one, two for an adjustment. And then in some head move, getting ready. And then anticipation, and then go. And then you can have a bit more of a, you know, just a bit of a more focused um, texture of the timing where it's not just, I know this is just rough, but I wouldn't have this creature step, 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 and then jump. Definitely come in, pom, pom, hold a bit, pause, then jump out. And again, I'll give me the scenes and I'll, I'll check out what you can do with the camera. I think that should be okay, but you could potentially start panning to the right. And then here, obviously, tilt up higher at the beginning. Uh, follow creature down. And this is way too slow here, so you're going to have to have the proper timing and the physics of that. Bam! That impact. And I wonder if we might have to change the camera here a bit. And I know I said, come, you know, have the impact and have them come towards camera. But I wonder if that's going to be just too close and too, whoa, in your face for the audience. Where imagine what if the camera is overall 
you know, a couple feet back, a couple meters, depending on what's, what you prefer, so that we might not even have to tilt up because we're further away. And so that by the time this happens in terms of the tumble and the moving forward, they're visually maybe only this far in, maybe max this. So that's something to think about, but that's to me easily changeable. The animation technically is not going to change. You know what I mean? And we can still tweak the camera and do potentially leave it like this and do a pan and tilt or move globally further back to just have the whole thing in frame. That's something that can easily change. So I would just continue on with this to actually, you know, full animation for all of this here. And then this again, I will probably help you tweak this because with this, even if we have a little bit of pan and tilt following the creatures, this is a bit jarring to have a sudden move here. There's some leftover keys. It'd be better if it starts kind of like that with a bit of a pan over. It's all a bit slow. So I think that's something else again that we can kind of work out. But I can definitely, I will probably start with this or probably go and check out this and then into that, that shot just to see how it flows. And then that will help you with the timing of it too. Because this one's a bit... I mean, again, you can technically just animate this and then we can just add the camera, but I do want to give you a good template. Because right now, once we get to this, we're really cut off. You know, at this point, I would have the dinosaur here and then the creature could still be here. At least one creature is more prominently in frame. And then you can reframe and readjust to have them both in, but it's just a bit awkward how, how they're so cut off and this is big empty space there. And for the ends... Even then, I don't know if you want to take a step or two towards, but you know, there's something where they could just be potentially closer and just ready to go. So it's not, not so cut off here, not that you want to cut off at that part. But I don't know. That's something that we can check out um, towards the end. But you're absolutely good to go in terms of animating this and this and this for sure. That's a lot of work already. So you can move forward with that. And then we can save the big shot here uh, for the end as we get to know the camera a bit more. All right. That's kind of what I have. Um, that's it. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.